What's up guys, so today we're going to be rabbit hunting with a brake barrel shotgun. So it's in the box still, I haven't unboxed it. This is a Gamo Viper Express, I think that's what it's called. And this is supposed to be like a shotgun pellet rifle hybrid thing. So it can shoot pellets and it has little shot shells that I'll show you in a little bit. And here's the shotgun, air rifle, this isn't a real shotgun. It looks like a shotgun, I mean it has this little front bead looking thing. It also has a dovetail rail which you can put a scope on, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video because it shoots like bird shot, so I don't need a scope, I'm just going to use this front sight. So I got some of these little gamo shot shells. Okay, so I'm going to break the barrel, and it comes with a little insert right here. That's the pellet insert so you can shoot pellets, I'm going to take that out. And then this is the shotgun shells, it's just these tiny little shotgun things that have nine i think it's a nine shot and you just load them in the barrel like that load it wow i think this is going to be really fun take out the shotgun shell now it's hollowed out there's nothing in it so load another one of these up and see how fast these shoot 608 feet per second. That's not a bad speed, I guess. Is it powerful enough for rabbits? I don't really know because those are pretty small BBs moving at that speed. Might only be able to take close headshots, but I think it'll work. I'm gonna put the pellet insert back in and we'll see how fast this can shoot 22 caliber pellets. Now you can just load it like a normal brake barrel. Just like basically 700 feet per second. I got some of these big splatter targets. We'll see how well it patterns. But first, I'm just going to see how accurate it shoots with the pellets with that insert in here. I got a box right there with a target on it. I'm going to take five shots just free handing it using the little front bead. Ten yards away, I'll see how accurate this thing is. Okay, five shots, 10 yards away. That's actually not bad, that's about an inch group. I was moving all over the place too. The first two even went in the same hole. So here's the target, it's got one at five yards. That's about the range we'll be rabbit hunting at. And there's one at 10 yards and one way out there at 20 yards. I'm not gonna be filming at all with the scope cam up here for the hunting. I have my shot cam on here. This is what I use for all my shotgun hunting. While I'm shooting these targets, let me tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, Hunting Clash. As most of you know, it can cost a lot of money to go hunting, weapons and ammo and traveling if you're hunting different species but i can get on hunting clash and do all the stuff for free without even leaving home Well, it looks like five yards is a dead rabbit. That group's about the size of my fist. Hunting Clash has a variety of different locations around the world where you can hunt different kinds of animals. To get started, press the hunt button and then the scope cam will come up. The graphics in this game are actually really realistic. Okay, there's a wolf right here. I'm gonna take him out. There's a green dot flashing right there. You gotta try to aim for that. Boom, dropped him right there in the spot. 100% precision. And then I'm gonna claim my reward. All right, I'm going for the 10 yard shot. Let's see how this does. The group did open up a lot, but I don't see any BBs that didn't land on the actual target. If there was a rabbit right here, I think I might have actually got him. If you like to play against other players, Hunting Clash has a player versus player mode where you can compete with other hunters around the world. Download the game by using my link in the description box or scan the QR code you see on the screen and use my special gift code BLOCKETH to get a special $15 value pack for a better hunt for free. Thanks again to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. Now let's go shoot this at 20 yards and see how good it does. It's probably actually going to be pretty bad. 20 yard shot, there's a rabbit running right to me. Got him. Okay, let's check out this 20 yard target. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight, nine. I'd say that's a not dead rabbit, I missed him. It looks like my effective range with this is gonna be within like five yards, which is kind of what I was expecting with this. Okay, so we're going rabbit hunting now. Jake and Brett are with me. Wait. Hold on, I want to get you guys his opinion on my new shotgun. Yeah, what do you think? It's like a pellet gun. <laughs> I know, but it has the shotgun barrel though. It shoots these little, like, little what shotgun the things. Heck? They're filled with nine shot. There's some small BBs. Huh. It gets like that big of a group at five yards oh, though. So I don't know how this is going to work. I brought my 410. Okay, what do you have, Britt? 12 gauge weather beat. Okay, let's see if this can keep up with the real shotguns. <laughs> Load it. I also brought pellets just in case this doesn't work. Up there. 
Yeah, let's stay along the edge. Why? Why not? <laughs> Where should I go? The middle. Okay. So Brett and Jake's hunting technique is a little different than mine. What they're doing is just walking around and like making tons of noise to speak the rabbits out. But what I have to do is be very sneaky and quiet so I can hopefully see the rabbits sitting in the brush to try to take a headshot on them. Because if they run, I do not think this is going to kill a rabbit like over five yards away. Oh my gosh, I got it. I just got a rabbit. <laughs> I cannot believe it actually worked. That's a big one too. Right just facing right to me. One rabbit, zero to zero with a BB gun. All right, next spot. It's usually a pretty good spot. I always see a bunch of rabbits here, last year at least. Brett claims he just shot a squirrel. I don't believe him though. I knew it. I I shot at the squirrel. I got uh -huh. How do you miss a standing squirrel uh -huh. from 20 yards, 25 yards? Wait, Brett, do not move. Oh my gosh! He's got another rabbit. Oh. <laughs> oh, this gun is awesome. That was that was like almost 10 yards too. Yeah. I cannot believe this pellet, this little shotgun BB gun is working this good. That's crazy. How's it feel to be losing to a BB gun? <laughs> Alright, let's keep hunting. Maybe I can, maybe, what if I limit out with this? Gotta walk through these brushy spots really quietly. Just sit there and kind of look around. See if I can see any rabbits. I don't see any in here. Whoa, look at that steam coming off that tree that's kind of cool let me see your squirrel i missed the shot but jake got a squirrel okay so we got both the rabbits we're gonna start skinning them and we're gonna cook them on the grill barbecued rabbit this thing was huge biggest deer i've ever seen the other one ready to put no mine just looks like it's burning <laughs> mm. how is it <laughs> is it bad? Okay, here's the other rabbit. It looks pretty good. Not really. It actually looks like it's going to be disgusting. Okay, that was actually not bad. It was a little chewy. Needed more barbecue sauce though. We're gonna keep doing some hunting with this air rifle. We're gonna go squirrel hunting and then sparrow hunting. Squirrels are a lot tougher than rabbits and I'm really surprised this worked that good on rabbits. But instead of using the little shot shells, I'm gonna be using the pellets. This is like similar to using slugs for deer hunting with a shotgun. And we'll see if we can get a squirrel with this. I don't even have a scope on here. I'm just using the front bead. I'm pretty confident in taking a squirrel with this out to 20 yards. So yeah, I think we'll be able to do it. And right when I pulled up, I saw like, there was like four or five squirrels just right here. There was one right there, one up that way, and there's like three more right over there. There's one right there. Try to sneak down there a little bit closer and take them. This might be harder than I thought it'd be. I missed that squirrel. Now I don't see him anywhere. So I'm gonna have to find a new squirrel. There's one's tail right there. I'm gonna sneak around there and try to take him. Guys, I was about ready to leave and give up on that squirrel because he was so far up in that tree. Right before I was getting ready to leave, he stuck his head out and I could barely see his head. And I shot him. I drilled him too. He fell right out. Big squirrel too. Yeah, I can't really tell where I hit him. It looks like I almost hit him in the mouth, but he died instantly. That's crazy. Here's the squirrel I just got and I think I have an idea on how to make it taste better than that rabbit. So what I'm gonna do is get some water and boil it, then throw the squirrel in there. And then once the squirrel cooks, I'm gonna throw that on the grill and then we'll put the barbecue sauce on it. And hopefully that'll make the squirrel taste like more tender and juicy, I guess. Got the squirrel right here. This is like, 
chewier than the rabbit. Flavor's decent though. All right guys, it's the next day. I tried to go sparrow hunting with this yesterday and I took a couple shots of sparrows around 10 yards away and I missed both of them. I think the, pat the pattern just opens up too quickly in this. I think Gammo should make a Magnum version of this for hunting that shoots these little cartridges really fast or maybe they could put more BBs in these or heavier shot, I don't know, and have a tighter pattern further out. Gammo, if you're watching this right now, please consider making a Magnum version of this. A break barrel shotgun is like the coolest idea ever. If they made a Magnum version of this, that would probably be my most favorite break barrel ever. But anyways, we're still gonna be hunting with this. Since I titled this video for rabbits, we're just gonna go rabbit hunting again. So I'm just gonna pretend like there's a rabbit right there so I can just put you guys on the shot cam. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, there's a rabbit. Got him. Three rabbits with this little air shotgun. I'm just really surprised those little tiny BBs that are going like 600 feet per second are able to go through the skull of a rabbit. That is another huge rabbit though. Thanks again to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use the links below along with the code and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe.